Beaches are a very important part of the natural environment, and they are changing every season. Like many spectacular dynamic environments, Cronulla Beach is part of the coastal environment. Cronulla is located in the southern more protected end of Bait Bay in New South Wales, Australia. On the 11th of December, Cronulla Beach were occupied with swimmers, surfers, walkers, sporting teams, and families. But then... Australians confronted a clash of races on the beaches where the iconic lifesaver and freedom of the surf intersected with suburban isolation and territorial proprietorialism. Australians confronted a clash of races on the beaches. National symbols such as the flag and the Southern Cross were transformed from unifiers to dividers that day when rioters on both sides showed a lack of mutual respect, then took the law into their own hands. For all the Cronulla community's efforts to welcome all Australians to the beach lifestyle, the riots and ensuing race-based generalization made young men and women feel they did not belong to Australia and that Australia did not belong to them. Until we recognize that racism remains a clear and present danger, we will never be able to rule out riots like those at Cronulla. Neither will we be able to reassure the broader community that ignorance is the enemy, not people from different backgrounds. The Cronulla violence was a major shock to the majority of Australians. That calls for peaceful protest could rapidly turn into violence. Likewise, the responses by targeted groups have highlighted the problems confronting those seeking harmonious community relations. National unity will never be achieved until we recognize that racism remains a clear and present danger.